I am finally, after wanting to do this for a very long time actually, going to stream one of my favorite games of all time. <gasps> Shadow the Hedgehog! Yay! <laughs> No, no, no oh. it's not that one. Why would that be one of my favorite games of all time? <laughs> because you're a man of taste, or at least I assumed so. A man of culture? <laughs> no. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to play Shadow the Hedge person, huh? playing this thing. Just... You're playing a moon face? No, no, it's not <coughs> moon face. I am playing Lunar, the Silver Star. <laughs> Anyway, so Sonic the Hedgehog introduces us to a game that's not Sonic the Hedgehog. Correct. That was the standard loading for the Sega CD. Also, I see a familiar name there, Working Designs. They have made uh, uh, another popular strategy RPG series, and by that I mean very unpopular. <laughs> so unpopular, in fact, that I cannot remember the title of it. Was it Shining Wisdom? Nope. Uh, huh. Anyway, um... <laughs> okay, so that's they, the they end of that listing, then. They, they published a bunch of games. Um, they didn't make any of them, though. Um, I don't know if they actually published anything in Europe. Uh, but they're well known for having, um... How do we put... Liberal translations? <laughs> I see where this is going. But not in a way that distorts the original work, usually. Um, Shining Wisdom apparently got off very bad on that. Um, I, I, I know what you're talking about. The, it's, a, it's on the Sega Saturn. I can't remember the name of the freaking game. But I know it's the game probably not the same we are talking about. This was a PlayStation game. They did a bunch of stuff on the PlayStation 2. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> so this is also probably one of the most remade games in existence. Surprisingly. <laughs> um, because this game has been remade three times. <laughs> I see. I don't know... Again, I don't know why. I know this game sold basically one to one with the Sega CD in Japan. And you gotta love this just completely early 90s what passes for animation. Okay. Now, there are a couple why? Explain to me why a Silver Star is named after the moon. Well, the game actually takes place on the moon. On a moon. So, wait, why a moon is considered a silver star? Um, I, I don't know. This is your favorite game, Ross! You should know this! <laughs> they don't really elaborate, um... Dragon okay. well, Master Dying was call born the in this planet planet village of Bird! They, they call the planet that's orbiting the blue star, so... <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so... Basically a bit of setup, so this g game starts in the sleepy village of Berg, where the greatest hero ever seen named Dragon Master Dying lived. Yes, I was reading the dialogue, in fact, while you were busy fumbling all over your words. And it's here that a young boy named Alex! This is the memorial to his fallen hero every day! 
Okay, so I do have to warn you, there are going to be some points that look like nothing's going on. There are voice acted parts here that they don't have dialogue on the screen for. So everybody okay. watching in stream is going to be um, able to hear it, but Madhog isn't, so... <laughs> Well, I could if I watched the stream as well, but the reason I am not doing that is it's because there is always delay. a delay. Yes. yes. Oh, look, it's like, the owl is... from Harry Potter. That makes so... sense. Oh, wait, it's not an owl. It's a ferret it's a wing. It's a flying cat. Flying cat. Answer your question, Sono Lover. Um, the remake that I think is the best is the PSP version. Um, Lunar the Silver Star Harmony. It had some annoying load times, but otherwise it has the most content and best visuals of them. But I still have a soft spot for this original game because it's the one I grew up with. Ah, there it is! So I decided to look up uh, which game I was talking about earlier that I couldn't remember the name. Okay. It's the Ark the Lad collection. Ah, okay. I've yes. heard of Ark the Lad, I just haven't played it. So Ark the Lad had a potentially interesting story. Uh -huh. And a interesting and compelling strategy RPG gameplay. Uh -huh. And it gets old pretty fast. <laughs> of course it does. Okay, so back to the dialogue. Okay, so do you want to be the annoying flying cat? I sure. picture you as annoying and, and flying, and also as a cat, for sure. some reason. Alex, didn't you promise Luna that you would practice singing with her today? N you're the narrator, so... Now join Alex! And I can actually control him. Oh my god! <laughs> so... Pokemon much? This came way before Pokemon. I know, but still. I was too lazy to formulate a proper reference. Okay, so do you want to be this guy's voice? <clears throat> well, I would have, but I cannot see anything now, okay? I was like, hi, Alex, I've been looking all over for you, was the actual okay. line. Yes, but you <laughs> apparently decided to I didn't click press the button, on... it automatically does that. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Alex, guess what I just heard? Someone said that the dragon in the cave was a huge diamond! You always wanted to go on a quest. Let's make this our first big adventure! <laughs> anyway, I've decided I'm going to go. Wait, I'll wait out you, he dies. I'll just stop by my house first to get a few snacks for the trip, because I am fat! <laughs> oh wow, he even walks slowly. <laughs> Alright, an adventure! Alex, I can hardly wait, but I bet Luna will be upset. She's going to demand you to fight the evil by moonlight. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh. Old man, is that you? Yes, I admit it, I painted my sheen. Now grab onto your destiny if you know what I mean. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Dine okay. surrendered his life on his last journey to the distant frontier. And honored his valiant life course, a monument was erected <laughs> here in Berg. I am, there, there has to be a better way to put it. Life course? <laughs> really? Alex, you have the... I'm sorry. Alex, you have the order of a dragon master. You must cultivate it. <laughs> I hope you didn't trap me into playing a uh, Harvest Moon game. Nah. Cultivate is dragonness, I guess. Well, hello, son. Are you going to Dine's Memorial again today? Dying was a great man, I can't blame you for admiring him so much. Uh-huh, what does Mom has to say? Oh, Alex! You're back so soon? Luna went to the spring out in the outskirts of town? Aren't you two going to practice your song for the Goddess Festival? I 
guess that's the end of that conversation, huh? Okay, that's Alex's room. That's this great room there. I'm surprised that this game did not start with him waking up from the bed as the mother says, Wake up, sleepyhead! Alex, if you go into Luna's room with our ass things, she's gonna be mad. Let's do that. I just did. Oh. Luna will flip if she finds you messed up her bed. Hey, what's in the box? It must be pretty great, because the box is locked. Can we drown the cat? He is the voice of Alex, essentially. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it already. Wow, it's been five minutes. I already don't like this game. Are you going to practice your song with Luna today? That song will be the highlight of the festival. I'm counting on you two. I think that's supposed to be a girl. I am committed to the role. <laughs> Are you go? Are you with Null again? You two have been stuck like glue since birth. Do we have to converse with any useless NPC that's going to inevitably burn to death as soon as the villains attack? I have never seen anything like it. The fact that you don't bother to answer my queries <laughs> automatically makes me assume that that's exactly what's going to happen. We're not going to talk to everybody in the game. I think, I think the river rose because of the spring thaw, but others are in such awe. I am not entirely sure. Now that the bridge is washed up, we can get out of the safer place. Okay. Aren't you Noah's son, Alex? I've heard you and Remus are heading out on an adventure. Wow, okay. Did he say that to everyone in the village? <laughs> Just bragging beforehand. Ramus came flying by here, babbling about it. Are you sure you didn't mean to say he came down wobbling? <laughs> or slowly approaching? Or bumbling? Or whatever fat joke you want to put in here? <laughs> He's so lazy. If his dad wasn't uh, the village leader, I'd take him over my knee. I, I don't like <laughs> this game very much. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Alex. Can you wait? Just I'm sorry. Actually, you were his voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. What's a really annoying voice I can give this man, this <laughs> boy? Making him less and less. Huh? Mm, well, it's a pretty damn lazy stereotype. So. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Can you wait just a bit longer? I need to find the computer room. What? <laughs> 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 okay. I've almost got everything I need for the trip! Okay. <laughs> okay, well, well, hurry along. Get along with it! Yes. I think I need to talk to her at some point. Are you looking for Luna? She went to the fountain a while ago. Aren't you going to meet her to practice yourself for the festival? I feel like we've had this conversation already. Pretty much. Okay, so now to the spring. Okay, let's meet this phantomatic, ever-elusive Luna person. Hey! Alex, this is Luna's Broquette. But where's Luna? Okay, first of all, it is pronounced bouquet. The T is silent. <laughs> Hello, I just oh, randomly popped into Scream. <laughs> Did Remus ever find you? Yeah, again, this is one of those places really fully voiced, but you. have no text. But Which is weird because they only did that on the English speed. version of the game. In the Japanese, they had like the dialogue with text with it. Which well, I can make weird. my own dialogue, then. She's just singing here. Hello again, friend of a friend. <laughs> you look so happy to be doing this. I want to go to a land beyond dreams. 
everything out. So it's just like kill me. <laughs> Enjoy an adventure, the world beyond dreams. And again, Where this is what passes as animation. <laughs> <laughs> A land beyond the dreams. Hey, did you like my King's Quest Seven reference? It's my favorite game. Is something bothering you? You can tell me. This is what I'm saying right now. You see my mouth moving. But words are not coming out of it. Okay. Okay, so... You've been uh, so quiet. Talk to me, Alex. What's the matter? Luna... Alex it doesn't wants... matter! <laughs> Luna, Alex wants to go to the dragon cave with Ramus. The dragon cave? Please don't go there, Alex. It's just too dangerous. There might be a poisonous snake. And one of all of two lines of dialogue Alex has in the entire game. I'm not making this up. This is terrible. I <laughs> this is okay. So um, I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you, Ross. This game is not giving me much material to work with so far. Oh god, damn. Well. I've never been able to stop you from doing what you wanted to do before. So I guess all I can do is go along and make sure you stay out of trouble. Luna, join our party! You know, Alex, there's that old chest in the basement. Maybe there's something we can use in it. So let's go all the way back to the village which we came from. Okay. It takes about two minutes for us, but imagine you are tracking all the way to the spring, and then you have to go back because, hey, I forgot lunch or something. Alex, let's check the chest in the basement. Riveting. It's a, it's a early RPG. What do you want? Not playing an early RPG? <laughs> oh, God. What's up, kids? Are you taking a break from practice? <coughs> Alex, you should pick up your room or everything. Wait, you should pick up your room? What? <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> You should pick up your room and put it in your inventory because, you know, you never know when you need an entire room to sleep in. Damn straight! Hotels are very expensive, you see. Luna cleans her room and I don't even have to remind her, right, Luna? Also, buy fence summer sale, apparently, on the side. Just appeared <laughs> on the lower right of your screen. I saw. What are you doing, Alex? Stop poking around my room this instant! You should be poking me instead! Oh my. Alex! Six, six, six! What are you doing searching my bed? My bed's made! Have you made yours? Um, actually, I think I did. Yep. By the way, you're claiming this is a messy room? Um,. Literally, what's our place about it? Well, metaphorically speaking, you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so... Alex, the chest is locked! What are we going to do? Can we smash it? Can we use the cat? Can we bash the cat's skull on the chest? Uh, right excuse open? me. You know, maybe I, um, I don't know. Key might help here! I'm going to strangle this cat. Perhaps we should ask, or ask around, folks. I should ask you instead. The key to the chest in the basement? Okay, here you go. There's nothing important in it. Chest key. Chest key received! <laughs> Alright, it's so open. 
Looks like it contained an old contains an old sword in dirty clothes. Well, Alex, put on the foul clothes and grab that sword. Got a dagger in heavy clothes! Hardcore! There we go. I hope my protastic voice as a narrator is not too annoying. Oh boy, I need to buy Luna a weapon. <clears throat> Why are you wearing those clothes, Alex? I dress you nice! The ladies outside are going to make fun of me because I dress you like a raggedy doll! What? An adventure? I forbid you to go to adventure! And while we're at it, you cannot be part of the Heroes Academy because it's too dangerous and you cannot be the next All Might! I forbid <laughs> you! Also, that all the Doba King business the game is not even out yet! We'll see what your father has to say about this little stunt. Hey, honey! What are you doing in those? What? Going to the Dragon Cave? Son, you're nuts! There are monsters in it! In the Dragon Cave? No, really? Truthfully, Alex, I've been to that cave myself of dying. If I'd gone, al gone in alone, I probably would have been killed. It's probably better if you didn't go, son. Okay, adventure over then. Fuck the parents. <laughs> hey, they care about you. You should spend more time with them. You never know when they might end up burnt alive by an invading force. So, wait, did, did, did she just say, what's your pleasure? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, see, I see what's going on here, game. Very clever, very sneaky. <laughs> Give her a sling. It's a beginner's weapon. I'm sure by the end of it, she'll have a slightly better s swing sling. and whatnot. A sling to swing with. Okay, so he's going to be at the entrance. Now I have two ways of doing this. I can try to leave him behind, or I could talk to him. Leave him. Thank you. Hey, Alex! You weren't going to leave without me, were you? We need to find the Dragon Cave! <laughs> Is Luna going along too? Well, I guess that's okay. Let's get going! The Dragon Cave waits! I hope he dies. Okay, so... Um, Ramus is actually way more powerful than Alex to begin with. We don't need a harp equipped. <laughs> By the way, in the remakes that becomes an ocarina for no reason. Because of cutting off time. What was that? That heals your, uh, heals your HP fully. Ah, okay. Why would you not equip the harp? You never know when you need to play an epic battle theme for your random encounters. <laughs> okay, so at least we're not fighting slimes or rats as no, a we're first enemy. Dung beetles. Oh. Oh, that's... that's somehow much worse. <laughs> that's somehow much worse. Uh, not somehow, that's decisively much worse. <laughs> <laughs> so, see if I ask Null. Dung Beetle, these are easy pickings! Thank you for your input. That was so fundamental insight. Yeah. 
So you expect me to say something with your funny, but I literally have no idea what to say at this point. To me, this looks like the most quintessential generic JRPG ever made. Okay, so fly trapping albino baboon. This would be an easy win. Okay, so. It's time for me to turn the tables on you, so to speak. Oh? Because you said you were bored by Creepy Castle? Yes. <laughs> well... Guess what? I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. I know, I am not very impressed by your nostalgia. First of all. Second of all, I don't think JRPGs are a good fit for a stream, because... Inevitably, you have to spend a lot of time just fighting the same bunch of enemies over and over again in order to grind for levels, and that's well, just not good television. Um, how do I put it? There is a bit of grinding in this game, but there's no, like, grind walls, like, at this point in it. Listen, you have had three fights so far, and I am already bored out of my skull. I have I'm... to be honest. I am heading to the Dragon Cave, so... The Dragon Cave?! We need to find the Dragon Cave! I am trying my best to get there, I know where it is. I should hope so. I've only played this game, I don't know, for fucking 20 years at this point. Wow. I'm not kidding when I said this was my very first RPG. Oh, okay, that explains it. Welcome to the Shrine of the Goddess of Love and Beauty. What's your business here? Okay, we would like to book a room with a prostitute. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, I'd like... You. I'll use the power of the goddess to recover your strength. Well, that should do it. Good luck in your travels. That was easy. <laughs> What's your pleasure? <laughs> We're almost Dang in the dragon cave. Beatles. This is going to be a very smelly mission indeed. <laughs> I mean, they are big dung beetles too, so you would have to imagine that the <clears throat> material that they would handle <laughs> is really, really large. <laughs> Maybe Unsurprisingly, the Beatles the dragon's dung. There's just no way we're gonna get past this ball of ice! If only we had a fire spell! Wait! Maybe there is! Yeah! I have... Verin! Yes! My precious! In a drawer at my house! Wait, we have to go back to the freaking house?! <laughs> Are you kidding me?! We just got here! <laughs> we have to go back to the freaking field! I hate this game, I'm done! I'm done forever! I have no patience for these old RPGs. I really don't have the time or patience to invest in these games anymore. <laughs> Just... Oh, I don't on. even enjoy Earthbound. And Earthbound is considered one of the more original ones. So, that should tell you. I'm sorry, uh, but this is just... This is a game that is near and dear to my heart. And you freaking out over it is probably very entertaining for any potential viewer. I know. I am trying here. I am <laughs> trying, trying to, to freak show out here. I am trying to be irate for your benefit, and this game's benefit, and this stream's benefit. Otherwise, we'll be just sitting here for two hours in complete silence, <laughs> hating course. each other's guts, and that's not good television, my friend. <laughs> Let's go to my house and look for the ring that my dad hid! Yeah! And then we get back to the Dragon Cave! I am choking on my own neck fat! <laughs> uh, here's the ring! It's really ancient, so we better be careful with it! Let's try the Dragon Cave again, but this time with this ring! Okay, Alex! Old ring taken! Okay, now that you've seen the way that the game 
expects you to go, there was actually a hidden shortcut to the Dragon Cave. Oh, really? Yes. If I can remember it. Oh. Okay. And you didn't take that shortcut to begin with because? Because I am trying to um, level up intelligently. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm trying to um, do it in such a way that it's not dragging down the street. <laughs> So that was the first contact that you had with battle, if that makes sense, on the way You here. disgust me. <laughs> oh, okay. I think uh, giant white apes might be a touch out of season in a green field. <laughs> Just saying. I like to think that every time there is a battle, Alex is actually secretly playing at the harp in order to provide <laughs> a soundtrack. <laughs> that amuses me to no end, actually. Alex, here's the old ring! Why don't you give it a shot? Use the old ring! Oh look, slimes! Slime. <laughs> I am so done with this game. <laughs> I so don't want to see any more of this. Can't any of your favorite games of all time be any good? Like Sonic CD? Can Sonic CD be any good for once in its life? No! Because okay, those are giant it's terrible! Snail. It's the worst of Sonic! <laughs> Wow, you, you really are trying to pepper me hard, aren't ya? Okay, it's not the worst Sonic. Of all the classic 2D Sonics, it's the one with the worst level design. And that is absolutely, inequivocably bad. I'm sorry, but it's close to unplayable, when I cannot even find a way to reach the end of said level. <sighs> you know you have a problem, it's a Sonic game, not a Metroidvania without a map. I mean, what? tell me I'm wrong! What the heck is a... what would a temptation spell do? It tempts you into playing this game, I guess. Let's consult the manual. <laughs> because they don't have spell descriptions in the actual game. Oh my god, really? Really? This game keeps just revealing itself more and more to be terrible. This reminds me of my they experience. They couldn't spin it in 1992. This again reminds me of my oh, experience. Like with uh, Fantasy Star 4. I don't think that game had descriptions for spells either. Wood shield received. No, it didn't. I, I still cannot believe I had the patience to play that game from start to finish. I still cannot believe. I would never do that again, not even in a million years. This is going to be tough. Escargot go. So, is there any depth to the combat system in this game? Or it's just the most typical, stereotypical well, turn-based? Well, distance is a factor, while at the time most... JRPGs didn't have that as one. And that's about the only thing that uh, makes it stand out. Mm. You know, the more I see of this game, the more I realize that this is the kind of gaming experience that you can only appreciate 
with the gift of rose tinted glasses. That's not necessarily how I play it. I'm not saying um, it's actually... a terrible JRPG, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it's a typical JRPG. Which, you know, the bar is low to begin with. Well, this one has... how do I put it? The luxury of actually having a run system that actually works. <laughs> um, a lot of games, especially later remakes of it, actually penalize you pretty harshly for even having the gall to try to run away from combat. Hmm. Plus, the combat is pretty quick by games of this um, time period compared to something like, you know, the original Final Fantasy where you had to um, call all of your attack targets and if you weren't paying attention, you would just miss all of your attacks. Going into every dead end. <laughs> okay, alright, yes, there's something over so, here. So, this game is a metaphor of life. <laughs> what? Going over every dead end. You said it yourself. I am really sick and tired. Why are there so many snails in this dragon cave? <laughs> Um, maybe he likes eating snails? <laughs> oh, it's a French dragon. I didn't realize. What if it is? Well, if he has any dialogue lines... He does. Well then, let's get there soon enough. Oh, we're actually pretty down close. This dungeon is not long. Actually, that's a, one good thing about the game is they do not have any really massive dungeons until like the end of the game, so... They're all pretty breezy like this. And to think, we could have been playing Shadow the Best Hog. No! That game would be entertaining to comment on! Okay, anyone in the audience, are you entertained by this game and the commenting? Do I even want to know what they are saying in the comments? Um... Um, they are saying... Quote Suno Level 9. I am. Madhog is funny. Hey, thank you! Wow! Do you know how many people have ever said to me that I am funny? Um, I honestly don't know. Not many. <laughs> so oh, that means a lot to me, thank you. Oh crap, there was like one more um, small area I have to go to. Wow, I have a new lease on life now. Okay, so... I might even be nice to this game. Well, really? No. No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Dragging right through here. Okay, so I have to ask you, who does the floor in this dragon <laughs> cave? Some refined architect worked on this cave, obviously? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <sighs> This is again another voice scene, so... Who dares disturb Le Sleep of the Great French Dragon? <laughs> He's not French! I... I am Le Dragon Chef! Who dares disturb the sleep of the Great Dragon? Who eats Le Escargot? Oh, oui, oui, his croissant! Name is, his name is Quark. His name is Quark. Yes. I am Le Quark! <laughs> Perfect! This is the voice I'm going with! Ho ho ho! Young Dragon Boy! The time has come, hasn't it? You have the green eyes! One last take is the pin highs like vu! It was the shining face of thine I beheld! Here! 
Take this one! Wait, no fight? If the desire to be a Dragon Master burns in your soul. Ho ho ho, then cross over to the mine land and seek out your destiny. Return to me with this ring once you have attained the price of manhood. Okay. So I was expecting a boss battle. I'm well. a tad disappointed. <laughs> You, you over there, you look very familiar. I seem to know you. Huh? Are you talking to me? Yes. We. Oui, it's so strange. I feel that somehow our souls are intertwined. This dragon might be a bit of a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the dragon folks in Princess Maker 2. No, no, he's not a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> it must be my eyes. Oh my god, Quark. <laughs> As in the Quark. Okay, that's, that's a terrible name for a dragon. <laughs> that is the worst name for a dragon. Seriously. I might as well call him Pluto the Dragon. Oh. The cat's Quirk. name is Null, by the way. Quark, we come to you to get the diamond! Diamond? What diamond? Null! I think you know what I'm talking about. Well, see, why is it you humans prize those things? I don't understand the concept of capitalism. I'm just a very rich dragon. <laughs> don't you know they are made for shh? Oh. Oh my god. No. No. <laughs> that explains the dung beetles, though. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is. What? What are you making me read, Ross? <laughs> you disgusting otaku freak. Sorry, that's too harsh. You disgusting freak. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, what's the use? Here, take a look. Uh, this is the diamond. Dragon diamond. <coughs> I'm sorry, I meant to say dragon diamond received. Double bam bam. Shut up. I don't. <laughs> I don't believe it. That's the dragon diamond. Yes, and with that firmly established, can we move on? Oh! Gratuitous experience points without a boss battle! How convenient! Hey, uh, boy! What? No, Alexer! Is it Alexer, right? I'll be waiting for you to return as a mon! A grown mon, even! Okay, and now, unfortunately, because it's old RPG, I have to walk out of the goddamn cave. Oh, no! <laughs> because fast travel wasn't a thing yet. Oh. I'm sorry. So let's comment about the aesthetic choice when it comes to this particular floor. Is it granite or marble? That's the question. I don't know, I think it's supposed to be ice. Hmm... Wait, an ice cave? But it the climate does not really... The climate is not ideal for ice caves. <laughs> it's kept alive with magic. The dragons are highly magical and protectors of the goddess. Uh -huh. Yes, the dragons uh are all good guys in this game. Aha. Uh -huh. So tell me, Ross, does this goddess talk to you often? Yes, I'm writing it down. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. Oh, God. Uh, the goddess is named Althena. Not Athena, Althena. Completely different being. Althena is also a pretty typical name for a goddess. 
No, Athena is. Althena, I've never heard no, of no, I, No, I am saying to you that I have come across characters named Althenas in games before. It was- is that like a different languages interpretation of the word Athena? No, it's probably a copyright-free version of Athena, even though there is no copyright for Greek <laughs> mythology. <laughs> so, also, you know, it's to pretend that this is a different made-up religion compared to the classic pre-existing mythologies. You know, because you need to make your game feel like it's so developed world, even though you are really not doing a great job at it. <laughs> so, who's Althena's father? Zwing? <laughs> the god Zeung? <laughs> or, or Zeus with two S's? <laughs> or maybe it's a Zeus with a Z at the end. Zeus! Zeus! <laughs> Zeus! Dr. Zeus! <laughs> Wait, you could take the shortcut! Oh, there it is. I did. Okay, so, how long before everybody dies? Um, well, I, I'm gonna disappoint you on this one, but uh, the village does not get destroyed. No one dies. Well, no one in the village dies. <sighs> what? <laughs> it doesn't follow every fucking trope of every JRPG out there, you know? Well, okay, you know what? I should compliment this game for not following its formula, its expected formula to the letter, but at the same time, that comes at the price of excitement. <laughs> oh, God. So, yes, I still have to complain. <sighs> anyway. Alex, this diamond's gonna make us rich! Why does it smell like dragon dung? <laughs> That's not important <laughs> right now! I can almost taste the money we're gonna get! I'm sure that's because he's licking the diamond right Oh my now. god, no, no, I don't want that image in my head. <laughs> Why all these dung beetles have been following me this entire time? Oh, how much money do I have? Can I afford a short sword? I like how all NPCs and all character models, really, in this time and age, look like they were dancing on place. Yeah, yeah, I can't afford a short sword. <laughs> Um, let me equip that shit. I like my short swords. And now it's time to sell my useless dagger. Alright. Now I have to go to the item shop that I will never ever use because their items are poopy to sell the diamond. To sell you know, poop the more... at the poopy shop. <laughs> Listen, the more you talk about this game, the more <laughs> it Look, sounds okay, like so it's you not have... your favorite game. Seriously, you're not doing a good job in selling this game to me. <laughs> Let's go it's to the poopy I've shop. It's because I played it for so long. I know all of its uh, ins and outs to a fault almost. Anyway, so let's try to sell the dragon ring, shall we? <laughs> that seems like a great idea. I really have no way to tell the value of this ring. I sorry, I can't buy it. The old dragon, the old, the old white dragon gave that to us. We'd better not sell that, Alex. By the way, every if you try to, you can try to sell that at every shop at the game, and they'll have a different line of dialogue for it. That's neat, I suppose. And that's with like any key I am. Like I can try to sell the hot. What's wrong with you, Alex? You love that harp! You can't possibly sell it! Shut up! You stupid cat! I will choke you with the harp strings! Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay, I can't you know buy what? a diamond like this! I don't have enough money! Okay, you know what? That makes sense, at the very least. You'll have to go to a big city like Morabia to unload this baby! Wow! What a great rock! Well, that it's is a, a giant great rock! rock. <laughs> it's a giant rock! Oh, look at this giant rock! Oh, it's so cool! Oh! Arabia is the poor town on the main continent! I'm sure we can sell it there! 
the bunch of Arabia takes off from safe. Let's -a go. Did he become Mario suddenly? <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, yes! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I think yeah. he's pudgy enough Yippee. for it. Sure, why not? Okay, so... Now... More monsters! Yeah, I mean... More... Dung beetles! More... You're attracted by a diamond! I... Okay, that's canon now. <laughs> <sighs> you know, the fact that we are going to sell literal dragon poop, and that passes for a precious diamond uh, in uh, conventions of human society, that's a spiffy little commentary about capitalism, isn't it? It is. No, it isn't. It's just <laughs> me trying to find Wait. something interesting to say. Well, you know it. Now I can fix the bridge, but I've lost my axe. Hmm, where do I leave it? Ah, I think it's in my shed in the weird woods. <laughs> What? Why would you name your local woods the Weird Woods? Do you what? want to scare the tourists away? Are you hard of hearing? I told you I don't have my axe. I think it. I left it in my shed in the Weird Woods. I Why can't do you fix have a shed without a... it? Why do you have a shed in the Weird Woods? <laughs> and also, why are they named Weird Woods? Who's naming these forests? We, we have a serious branding problem here. <laughs> a serious branding problem indeed. Indeed. I hate it when a game finds a way to waste your time with side quests that are supposed to be important for the main quests. The proverbial goose chases. I hate it when that happens in adventure games. I hate it even more in RPGs. Because in RPGs, I really don't play them to solve puzzles. Again, 1992. Give them a little bit of slack. No! That's not why I am in this stream. My husband does good work, but he can be kind of, well slow. You might want to check back a little later. Oh. So basically what you need to do is go back to the village, talk to Alex's parents, and then return, I think. <sighs> the village is close by, at least. I'm going to go ask my dad if it's okay to go to Marie. Sorry, no, that's you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm not gonna ask my dad if it's okay to go to Moravia. Let's -a go. You should ask your dad to do. Wahoo! Okay, don't tell me he stays as a member of the party until the end. Nope. Good. He dies then. He doesn't. Just give me this one, man! <laughs> <laughs> give me something here! Look, just last night, just yesterday, I finished mine and the bar's playthrough of Angels of Death, which is one of the worst games I've ever come across to. I am at my wit's hand, I used all of my weight for that one, so you're getting my B material for this game. I That's hope fine. you're happy, by the way. That's fine. I I'm happy oh. to have someone to talk to. This would be miserable doing it solo. Um, <laughs> no, because even though as much as I love this game, it'll just be being in silence, you know, making small comments here and there. Like, what? You're going to cross over to the mainland? I suppose that all boys are adventurers at heart. I'm not. Um, I am not a boy. Not a boy here. I won't stand in your way. Let me write you a letter that may help you get a boat to take you from safe. Don't worry about your mother. I'll handle her. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> all I ask is that you promise me you'll never settle for less than everything. Uh... 
Is this game a metaphor for late stage capitalism? You ever dreamt of achieving? Uh... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> With that context, it's a bit better. Imagine if the sentence ended there. This is the origin story of the villain, not the hero. <laughs> okay. Father's letter received! Alex, Alex an adventure is. Go ahead, sorry. Alex, an adventure is one thing! Oh, uh, I mean. But now you're saying you're going to Meridia! I'm just confusing the voices now. You're still too young, my dear little baby! Okay, I'll stay. <laughs> That's the end of the game, then. Okay, I won't say another word about it. Please take this with you. It's my Shween in disguise. It's 500 uh, currency. Alex so. received 500 S's! That's silver, but... Alex received 500! I don't give a fudge! Okay, good. Alright, so now we have all so, of the So, uh, exactly there. how many hours into the game does the plot actually start? Well... What even is the plot? The overarching plot doesn't start until about the halfway point, but that's also because it's meant to be- Are you a... making me play Persona 3? No, okay, so the idea is, unlike Persona 3, which didn't feel like it has a point, this one's supposed to be a small tale that eventually builds up. So there's no overarching threat to the world at first. You, there's no, um, like... You're basically like, I'm going places and meeting people and, you know, trying to become a Dragon Master. And that's basic. and, you know, by the end of it, it becomes very important that you do, but um, it, it starts off much smaller, if that makes okay. sense. Okay, so, honestly, I do prefer this kind of procedurally developed fantasy narrative over a straight-up chosen one from the start. Hero's journey, that is. Mm -hmm. Or so I would be saying if the old white dragon didn't literally say we are the chosen one. Which ruins my immersion a little bit. Like I said, I prefer when the narrative develops organically. Like, for example, uh, the Slayers, you mm -hmm. know? There are a few episodes starting off that are shenanigans, self-contained adventures, mm -hmm. building up team exercises more shenanigans, and then organically the villains start to show up, and organically we get to a proper narrative by the end of it. For the most part, the story is handled like that, except with that little bit of um, foreshadowing by the White but Dragon. But there is a problem, though. There is a fundamental problem, a fundamental element to consider in those kinds of fantasy adventures. What's that? They are character-driven, first and foremost. Which means you have to like the characters. <laughs> you have to care about the characters. They have to have a proper established dynamic of some description. It's hard to care about the characters and therefore the world that they inhabit at large if there isn't much to them. It's well, the whole I... reason why I enjoyed Xenoblade Chronicles 2, because I really end up enjoying the characters. Well, if I may be at least defensive enough, you're not stuck with Luna and Remus for much longer in the game. Um, I actually... was honestly talking about the Dragon Kit. Dragon Kit? What, you the, mean the, the... The, fly, the, the Flying, flying Cat? Pest. Yes, the flying pest. Whatever that thing is supposed to be. Yeah, okay, well, yes, he's the voice of Alex, but everything else I'm is... I'm done. For some reason, it really rubs me off the wrong way. I can't quite explain why. Maybe I've been conditioned to be wary of all mascot characters. Even Xenoblade Chronicles 2 had the baby dragon grandpa, or trampa, as I call him. Which was the most annoying entity in that game? He basically is this! <laughs> Except, you know, this so, one's a little more yes. sarcastic. So maybe that's the reason why I cannot stomach another one of those. Fine! 
Finally, Alex, let's go! I can't wait to start our big adventure! Ramos has joined the party! And now I have to reorder. Uh... <sighs> okay. So, there's not a lot left to do on this starting continent, which is good. No more dung beetles, I would hope. Oh, yep. come on! Oh, we're, about, we're almost done with the dung beetles, I swear. The dung beetles. The diamond feces. Okay, so, game, you had one job. You had to make me care about all this. And you start off putting dung beetles forward and dragon excrements. Just... <laughs> That's not the best way to do it, I have to say. I can see why younger Ross might be into poop jokes. <laughs> well, you also have to keep in mind this was the very first game I had played that actually attempted a story. <laughs> okay, well, since we are being candid about our gaming origins, my very first game was the classic adventure game, Simon the Sorcerer. Oh, okay. I, have, and of I, course, I haven't played many adventure games, so... Okay, you know what? I do think it's time for you to get outside of your comfort zone. I might find some good adventure game for you to play. Well, the problem with adventure games is they're extremely, um, trial and Based in general, and well, oftentimes you know... the, it, it, you have to understand sometimes the demented logic of the designer to even okay. get Okay, yes, yes, of course, but then again, those are usually the bad adventure games. The good ones have puzzles that make sense under some sort of logic. For example, Day of the Tentacle is great because every puzzle is basically a classic cartoon gag. So, okay. that, in that, that logic, it makes sense. Okay. So, the good ones actually know how to properly design their puzzles and their uh, little escapades, so to speak, in a way that makes sense within the established context. Gotcha. Oh, hi, mates! I am the captain of the old Hispaniola, bound for Moravia. The sea is so rough right now that me needs a sea chart to navigate it. Unfortunately, I left my sea chart in my shed in the weird woods. <laughs> Hark, son, don't ask me why I don't have me own sea chart. Hug that rascal next time he won't be so lucky. He won't so lucky. A rematch, arg! Me has no Since sea he has no sea chart, me boots must stay planted on the land, matey. The cheating rascal, me thinks I'll show him rematch hard. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> no offense, but I think I do a little better okay, so pirate so <laughs> than you. For each of the oceans of this world, but she's as stubborn as she is ugly. You won't get the chart for nothing. She okay, all of this body shaming, I am not into that. Okay, and now... Color Color before, me, before peasant. me, persons! Okay. I am Nash, the magician! Instantly, that's his voice. <laughs> okay. I'm in the third rank of the magic guild in vain! But it was all in vain! What the hell is that? I'm also apprentice to the, to the awesomely powerful sage Galleon! I have become the greatest magician in my age group! No one can use magic as well as me! He certainly mastered the, high, the art of blowing high air. Oh, Go die in a fire! Oh, you're all going to Moravia too! That's very interesting! Say... I have a stuff of flowing water! That's no use here! Maybe someone will give us an ocean chart and exchange it! In exchange it? 
So guys, what do you say? Sound like a plan? A scheme even? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right decision. You won't regret it. I already do. Nash, join the party. With my magic power, you'll have no problems whatsoever. Thank me later. <sighs> Water King received! And yes, you can so... actually have um, four people. Well, I guess it's pretty standard to have four people on your party. I think you can have five by the end of the game. <laughs> At one time. Okay. So... I know exactly where to go, it's just on the north part of the continent. There's no dungeon or anything, I just go straight there. I'm trying to, um, beeline there, so... HA! You said beeline! <laughs> what are the people in the comments saying? Um, the last comment was, uh, let's see, after the last chat, it was, how many fat jokes about Ramus will, the, will be met? And my first game was Ratchet and Clank. Okay, to answer the first query, not that many, surprisingly. Also, my jokes were not aimed at Ramus, they were aimed at the lazy stereotypes associated with fat characters. Also, as for the second... Um, I guess it's a good choice. I never played Ratchet and Clank myself. I don't feel motivated to start now, to be honest. I don't blame you, honestly. Uh, it's definitely kind of, like, a, um, weird franchise. <laughs> I mean, if we are talking about weird franchises, I think Sonic is the weirdest by default. Yes. Well, at least amongst the more mainstream gaming franchises. Yes. Let's have a game in which we take away the speed from Sonic, which is the one feature he's known for. And he's oh, stuck yeah, in a labyrinth. labyrinth. That's a great Sonic. idea. That, that was... That may not be the worst Sonic game, but by God is it up there. <laughs> Also, let's rip off Mario Party and add a story to it! Which ended up inspired me for my awful fanfictions! So it was Sonic Shuffle's fault. For Void, yes. For the usage of the Void character in my awful Tales fanfiction, yes. Oh, and by the way, yes. Me and the lads here have been reading my old fanfictions over on my YouTube channel. Shameless self-promotion. Yes, of course, and there will be a lot more of that in the future. Right. Mad Dog Die Master being the name of my channel, which is also my own internet persona, if you will. Uh, the show is called Dramatis Lectio. The uh, fanfiction is named Tales. Have Just Tales. It's my own old attempt at rebooting and rewriting the entirety of the Sonic multiverse, including games, cartoons, and comics. Yes. It so... went about as well as it could. <laughs> okay, so this is an old witch. Since I assume you won't part with your tasty little pet, <laughs> will you trade me the staff of flowing water for the ocean map? <laughs> you want the map, don't you? Well then, you'd better be ready to deal, Sonny! <laughs> and one of these choices, it literally says, like, you need to do this or you won't get anywhere. <laughs> I forget which option it was, but... Okay, give me the stuff! <laughs> now then, there's your ocean map! <laughs> Made the trade! 
Make the trade! I'll access the map! Okay. You know, these days my attack magic is not what it used to be. Waiting this stuff. At least I can feel safe when I go walking. Oh, she's just an old lady. I gave her this creepy voice. <laughs> Say, won't you let me watch your cat for you? <laughs> My stew pot's just not the same without some tender meat in it. Alex, you're the kind of best friend, right? Okay, uh, this reminds me of a secret cutscene in a Freddy Fish game okay. in which Freddy Fish actually gives his friend uh, to a uh, eel and the eel eats it. Okay. Then let's go before she decides to cook you too. Um, I would be okay, you know, with you being eaten. Uh, of course raw. <laughs> Well, of course you would. Okay. You know, I used to have much more patience for annoying animal sidekicks. Yeah, you got into the Sonic fandom. <sighs> okay, well, every single character <laughs> is the annoying <laughs> animal sidekick and a sidekick to Sonic. <laughs> yep, yep. We should play Shadow the Best Hog. <laughs> No! Shadow the Hedge person. No! <laughs> what? I am Shadow. Shadow the Hedge person. The ultimate mediocre form. You're right about that. Yes, he is definitely ultimate mediocre. Which, by Sonic standards, mean I am the coolest! Edgiest, at least. Okay. I, yeah, we... I am Edgy the Hedgehog! God, we are so close. Oh Why my is God. it bad, Shadow the Hedgehog? Why is it bad? Um... Well... Well, okay, so here's the thing. Shadow the Hedgehog has not aged well as a game. And by that I mean it hasn't aged well just one day after it was released. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, let's take a cartoon character. Let's give it uh, weapons that are twice its size. Let's have him fight aliens. It sounds really fun so far. And it is in concept. You know, this idea of the super serious, edgy edgelord. Which is actually just a cartoon porcupine, really. Which... Amazing weaponry out of a Duke Nukem game destroying aliens and soldiers alike. That's a fun concept for a game. And the more it takes itself seriously, the better. Because it's an accidental self-parody, you know? It's so bad, it's good. Uh -huh. The only shortcoming that this game has has to it do is. with controls, camera angles, and level design. So, you which, know, basically you know, the actual pretty game. Much, <laughs> pretty much the actual game, yes. Pretty much 90% of the game. Also, really long loading times for some reason. Not as long as Sonic 2006, mind you, but still pretty long. Yes. So, anyway, I... I would love for us to play Shadow the Hedgehog to this very day. Especially because it isn't all well known within the newer generations. It's an especially gratifying experience when it comes to comedic commentary. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything that we can actually stream it on, so... I'm pretty sure you could emulate that game. It would be very difficult. Um, most sixth generation emulators are um, flawed to say the least. Um, so anyway. Oh. I don't believe me when I s it's the sea chart. Thanks, Samiki. Now we can sail to Maribia. Arr! Keep the sea chart. Oh wait. Keep the sea chart! Ow, I blew it! Oh, come on, man. Seriously? 
Arr, the Thunderation! What? <laughs> we just remember that we can't see without light. What are you talking about? It's the middle of the day. <laughs> From the lighthouse. It went out mysteriously. Oh my god. This is Fetch Quest, the game. Come on. Oh. Ever since the lighthouse have been overrun with beasts of an unkind persuasion. Oh, so that's where the first boss is. If you get me drift, matey. If you can get to the top to light it, we can sail. You know, you maybe should have mentioned that at the beginning of the conversation. I'll be camping on ya. I'll be here dancing on me spot. Practicing. <laughs> practicing the country dancing. Here, take this fling to light the beacon. Flint received. I want to go to a land beyond dreams. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Enjoy an adventure. Na, 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 na. Like I said before, it's a reference to King's Quest 7. Okay. Which literally starts off with the game ripping off Disney, having the main heroine performing a I Want More song. Oh, okay. So Flint <laughs> Amazing. has been used. Flint used! Look, it's stowing the bug again! Now we can go back to safe! So, no bosses in this entire area. Nope. Okay, Alex, you've double-checked the flame, eh? It's still burning. Let's go! Alex? Oh, sorry, that's you. Ah! Alex! Now the way to the mainland is open to you! Did you stop the game just to tell me the obvious? Oh, no. I cannot have any more angels of death flashbacks in my life. That game is my Vietnam. <laughs> Since we grew up together, I didn't realize it until just now. But you're becoming quite the courageous man, Alex. I'm so proud of you. Ugh. <sighs> uh. <We> did it! <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to do the thing that I do, and take my shit back. <laughs> oh yes, I've played this game so much I know when party members leave. <laughs> yet give it, matey! The light is shining from Lady Lauthouse again. Now we can sail to Moribia! If we want to go along, ask the owner of the boat. Thanks again, mighty. We won't forget this act of kindness, sir. Okay, so it's right here. What do you think you're doing? What? No way! I am not letting a bunch of kids board this boat. Guy, listen. I'm going to reach out for your throat. I'm going to strangle you. Let us <laughs> use the boat. I don't care. I'm going to go to your house. I'm going to kill your wife in your sleep and burn the entire town down. Let me leave this continent. You don't want to keep me. Come find. This is Alex <laughs> losing it, by the way. <laughs> He's tired of all the fetch questing. <laughs> Go home, your parents are probably worried. I killed my parents! <laughs> you want me to what? what? Read the letter? I'm too busy. Read the freaking letter, mate! At least give it a look, mister! Okay, give it here. You condescending, patronizing git. When the world burns, don't expect me to save you. Whoa, you're the son of Noah, like the Noah of the Ark. <laughs> We're all alive thanks to him. 
boy, this re gratuitous religious reference sure is substantial. Boy, that name brings back a few memories. I think of doves, I think of heterosexual animal couples. He was a <laughs> famous raging homophobic, you see. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Your father, Master Dine, and I went on an adventure together long. What does... What is this sentence? Together long? Long ago. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks to you and your friends, Alex, the boat can finally depart. But you're not allowed on it. You're too young. <laughs> oh, no. You can board at the end of the pier. Completing this first stage took 1,000 years. Um, this took... Um, wow, it's not telling me how long I think I'm for it, because... It took too it. long. Okay, so it's been less than two hours. It's too long for the tutorial stage. <sighs> Alex, I must say goodbye for now. This camp's out of nowhere. I've made up my mind to stay here on the island and return to Berg. So give me back my harp that I lent you! No, Luna. You don't really mean that. You've got to come. I'm sorry now, but I saw the pain in Alex's father and mother's eyes when we... left. I'll go back and keep them happy until you return. I am going to be the love interest longing for her man to come back home. Besides... I can continue on like this. It's your adventure, not mine. Adventuring is for men. <laughs> this is where your true adventure will begin. She said adventure way too many times in the course of one sentence. And I don't want to hold you back. Remus, you take good care of yourself. I hope you get all you have dreamed of. Now, behave yourself and shut your mouth. <laughs> and Alex, talk more. <laughs> Please be careful. I want you back in one piece and you'll become the king of the pirates. <laughs> oh no, it's a teary-eyed goodbye. Oh, the emotions. Oh, the weird, colorful backgrounds like it's the 1970s. <laughs> Okay, so this is another area of voice dialogue. Um, She's I not moving her mouth. I know, it's her thinking. Um, oh I, my god, this is terrible. Um, so I will say that this is the only version of the game in which Luna stays behind. Oh, I guess they must have realized that, that it made no sense. <laughs> Pretty much. Gotta love these Sega CD graphics. <laughs> yes. Got to love this... MS Paint paintings. <laughs> <laughs> we and are we, done. I, I'm, I'm going to do one thing. Mm. Well, it's been fun, but I've got to go now. My people need me or something. I'll be staying in Moribia for a while. If you need to find me, I often hang out on Black Rose Street. So long then. Because I want to kind of leave it with a hook for the next episode. Okay, That's the only yes. reason why I'm pushing on a little further. Okay, so Kevin Nash left the party. He's going to join WCW and start the <laughs> oh, NWO no. with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> At last, we're finally in Moribia. <laughs> Alex, let's hurry and sell the diamond. I'm dying to see how rich it will make us. Dragon poop is the best.
yes. No? No, it's up for them. There we go. It has a diamond there. Ah, ah! Welcome to my shop! Good uh, to meet I you! Knew I'm you Dross! Were going for the Resident Evil 4 merchant! Uh, I'm Dross! May I help you? Dross. What kind of a name is Dross? It's my wow. name plus one letter. Sell. Ah, I can buy it at a high price. What a marvelous timing! I've never seen any quite like it. I'll pay 4,000 silver! Great deal! Oh, wonderful! Just wait here while I put that in the safe and get your money. And he runs away with the diamond without our money. Give Gr Dross the diamond. Yep, uh, we're never going to get paid, are we? Hmm... He hasn't come back yet. Is he alright? He's running for it! Alex, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this whole situation. I think we may have been scammed. And that's where we are going to leave it. Good. After I save. So, yes. Uh. So that was part one of Silver Stargazing. That's good. I am not coming back for part two. My God! <laughs> I don't have anything more to contribute to this game. I literally just finished my long-term playthrough. I am not in the mood to do another long-term playthrough anytime soon. I thought this was going to be a one and done. Honestly, I cannot. I will not. I could not. I shall not. Wow, okay, so... I just great. can't. I can't even. He cannot I can't even. even. Okay. I cannot even. <laughs> this is it. You showed me this game that you like. Maybe next time you'll show me something else that you like. Maybe that I can this like game? too. <laughs> that isn't this game. Yes. <laughs> that would be nice. I guess he really does not like Luna. Hmm. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> Not even in a funny way, you see? If this game was a constant barrage of bad dialogue and terrible plot decisions, like Angels of Death, where each and every segment, angle, second or comma of the game was rich in bollocks. So much bollocks, drowning in human bollocks. <laughs> then yes, I would have something to latch on to, but as it were, this game is just dull for me, and aside from the usual, aside from the occasional moment of brilliance, I cannot do much to improve this experience. And like I would not hood. be having fun. I would not be having fun, first and foremost. Okay, well, you probably, so you wanna know how much I just paid for this game? Do I want to know? Has the price tag right here? You disgust me, Ross. You know, with all that money, you could have bought five different newer games, all probably much better than this one. Actually, but no. no. A new game goes for about $60 here, so I could have gotten maybe like two new games. Okay, fair enough. Five newer indie games. Okay, that is fair. But <laughs> nothing like that is as sentimental to me. Like, I still have my childhood copy of this game, but it's in absolutely awful condition. Like, it's disc only and the disc is scratched to hell, and I, I'm amazed it still works. So, when I saw this complete one at the convention, I was just like, it, this takes me back in so many ways. You know, it's it's certainly not the best game on the planet, but it's pr 
probably the most influential to me, if that makes sense. It's the one that um, introduced me to the RPG and the concept of storytelling in a video game to begin with. And yes. It, it, it did more for the types of games I like and um, just... Actually, it helped get me an anime, too. So, okay. I mean, it basically kind of this one game helped set the course that my life would take. Fair so enough. So that's why it was important to me to get a complete inbox to kind of, like, actually be able to pay it proper tribute, if that makes sense. That is fair enough. Okay, uh, as far as I am concerned, I told you before my first game was Simon the Sorcerer. I basically grew up playing classic graphic adventure games, LucasArts games to be specific. Because uh, those Monkey were some I of the best at the day. At yes, that time. Monkey Island one and two, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, they Simon the, the Sorcerer one, by right. Adventure Self, Sam and Max Hit the Road, Day of the Tentacle, and uh, anything after that was just a constant disappointment <laughs> and decline. But then again, uh, the market was saturated by Sierra mm -hmm. and all companies that tried to be either Sierra or LucasArts and that inevitably led to a decline of the entire genre. Plus, PC games were being enriched in variety by the popularity of strategy games and first-person shooters and what have you. But would you claim that that's your most influential game? That's the one that you're like, okay, this is the one that's probably impacted me. The Actually, most. I, da I dare say my most influential, the, the game that influenced me the most and informed a lot of my sense of humor currently was Sam and Max Hit the Road, which was the first game I ever beat, by the mm. way. So do you actually have a physical copy of that lying around? Hold on a second. He may. I'll, I'll be right back. So I guess that's a yes. And Suno Lover, you'll have to wait till next time to find out if we get the dragon shit back. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to switch on to uh, video on my end. Can you show me on the stream? Uh, I... Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Uh, yes, I probably can. Let me, um... Let me just kill, um... Fusion real quick. And Elgato and I... Oh, no signal! No! We have that's lost from... contact! That's from the Elgato. Okay, so I should be able to... So oh, many yeah. me's! Wow! <laughs> uh, I don't know how to make you bigger though. <laughs> that will have to do. <laughs> okay, so I have here uh, my old uh, adventure game collection. Oh, uh, nice. These are all original copies from when uh, I bought them. And they are all still working perfectly fine. So, first of all, uh, a few classics, very, not very well-known classics, from the Cocktail Vision collection. Mm -hmm. This is Goblins Free. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, barely. Okay. Goblins Free. Okay. Oh, those are all Italian Italy. language versions, aren't they? Well, yes, obviously. Well... Because you're from Italy, yes, but I didn't know if Because I'm had, from like, Italy! What, what, yes, what okay, do you but, know? Hey! Hey! Well, hey! I didn't know if you had gotten anything from the UK or something, you know? I mean, now, you could potentially import that, those uh, relatively easily from your country, correct? So, fun fact, these games were fully translated, but for some reason they would not translate the titles. The titles were left in their original uh, English vocabulary. Which, you know, for a child in Italy, it might be difficult to pronounce. But anyway, this is Woodruff and the Schneeball of Azimuth. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? 
you know, you can. I think you can get this game on goodoldgames.com. Correct me if I'm wrong. Probably this is actually can. a great game. This would be a great game to stream one day. Um, this is probably one of the earliest examples of a proper adventure game that tried to be a sandbox. Okay. Not in the sense of Leisure Suit Larry, which were already sandboxes. More like in the sense that this is a whole fully organically developed world with a lot to do everywhere. So it was a pretty big game for the time. Gotcha. Now, these are the more well-known classics that I have here. People might be familiar with this. Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Okay. Yeah, there were two um, Indiana Jones um, adventure games released around that time that were both extremely good, if I, were, if I remember correctly, right? You're thinking not exactly at the same time. This is the sequel from okay. 1992. The Last Crusade was from 1989. Okay. The SCUM system, which is the point-and-click system I'm aware that of what now the SCUM system is. associate with adventure games, was invented in 1987 for the game Maniac Mansion. Yes, I'm aware of that. Uh, 1989 was The Last Crusade, the adaptation of the film, essentially. Okay. And, uh, of course, here it is. This is Monkey Island 2, Dulechak's Revenge. Okay. This, finally enough, comes with a copy of a Windows game of Indiana Jones, which, okay. how to describe it, it's... Now what uh, format are these? Are these all um, PC, or are they, for, are they like Amiga or something? These are PC CD-ROMs. Okay, so they're all PC CD-ROMs, Windows probably, right? Are they Windows yes. or DOS? Um, these were DOS. I believe. So the, so, the ones that you have are most likely DOS. Okay. Yes. But, you know, there are very efficient emulators, so it's not a problem. But, of course, I was just curious what you particularly grew up with, because in the Eurozone, there was Day of the Tentacle, yes. Um, being this the is Euro the sequel to Maniac Mansion, by the way. Really? Huh, I didn't know that. Yes! Um, uh, Maniac Mansion, the game Maniac Mansion, actually came included in the copy of Day of the Tentacle. You could play it in the uh, bedroom of Ed Edison at his own computer. So it's a little present included here. Okay, that's really and cool. finally, this is probably my most favorite game of all time. Sam and Max Hit the Road. I am a big fan of Sam and Max, the freelance police, and this game is the reason why. Let me just uh, enlighten you of how much of a fan I am of this particular cartoon duo. Oh boy. Uh, so... <laughs> This is the 1997 animated series. Yes, I'm aware of its existence. And you buy it on DVD. Nice. Yep. <laughs> it was surprisingly easy to find for PAL regions. Huh. But wait, there's more. This is, uh, this is quite, <laughs> this is quite a, a rare, very, very rare original copy of the, the first ever collection of Steve Purcell's Sam and Max comics. Hmm. I mean, there have been reprints over the years, but this is an original print. Oh, nice. A pretty old one. Yep. It's quite a prized treasure in that regard. <laughs> it already came in this condition, by the way, when I bought it. So it was kind of used. Well, I can't really see it very well on the small screen, but I get the idea. 
and uh, la pièce de résistance. Oh no. He's going French on us. He's taking it off of his wall. Oh god, he's taking it off of his wall. Now, if I may be so bold, is that an animation cell from one of the works? No. Ah, this, okay. this is a framed original poster with Steve Purcell's autograph on it. Oh, nice. Yep. So you might just be... A little obsessive over the game, but I completely understand. Actually, I have not been obsessing over this cartoon duo uh, for a long while, but yes, at some That's point... That's because uh... I haven't done much with it lately. <laughs> yes, but you could say I am a big fan, and every once in a while I get reminded of that. They definitely shaped a lot when it comes to my own personal approach to life, to games, to comedy, to narrative in general, to my original love for graphic adventure games, which has most certainly waned over the years because, you know, you get sick of them after a while, inevitably. Yes. Just like you get sick of JRPGs after Plus, a while. you don't see me playing them all the time, obviously. But, uh... Because you don't have the time to. <laughs> but regardless, so... Sam of Max is your Luna, and Luna is my Sam and Max. Okay, so just to go slightly into my Luna fanaticism before we cut for the evening. So, at the same convention, I got the Japanese version of Luna 2 for the Saturn. I also have these. What? Why? Because I could. You can't even read Japanese. Why? Well, I have the English version in on PlayStation. So you bought the Japanese version? Why? Because I wanted it. Even though you can't play it. Correct. I also have the Japanese version of the first game on Saturn, which is the first remake. I also have the English version of the first remake on PlayStation. In fact, I actually have two copies of it right now. It, I know it sounds strange, but follow me on this one. So initially, I found the I use game store discs only. So it's like four discs for the game, because it's a PlayStation 1 game. So of course it came on multiple discs. Um, and then eventually I found the at flea market, like, complete with like all the, um, like, jewel casing, everything at a reasonable price. So I picked it up there, because it's better than having it just disc only. But moving on, then I have the Game Gear. Lunar game. Actually, is it right here? I think I have it right here. I do. The Game Ross, Gear Lunar game, which is Japanese only. Ross, your money throwing nerditude is starting to get on my nerves. Dang! This was remade on the Saturn, and I have that version. <laughs> and then there was a Game Boy Advance. Um, port of these, um, first remake, I call it the second remake because it really is redone from the ground up. And I have that! And then, finally, there's the final, most recent remake, which is on the PSP, and you better believe I have the collector's edition of that. And there's one last game. It's called Lunar Dragon Song. It's on the DS. It's absolutely awful and completely killed the franchise. And yes, I own that. Sounds to me the only thing you don't own is a semblance of dignity. No, I don't have the um, Japanese Sega CD games yet. Now, to be fair, this one in the Japanese version of this one right here is incredibly calming and cheap, so I can get like 10 US dollars, no problem. I just haven't got it yet. 
Second one's a little more challenging. I think I have a problem. You might. You just <laughs> might. But that's how much I love this series. <laughs> there is loving something, and then there is you. And when the, it's you, then it becomes too expensive. <laughs> and you should really tone it down a little bit. Okay, to be fair, <laughs> most of these games were actually pretty expensive. The one I that mean, I just bought is obviously very expensive. You're literally buying a Japanese version of a game you already have just because you can have it now, even though you yes. cannot even read Japanese. But I that's, know what it says! That's idiotic! <laughs> that's so idiotic! But I know what it says! It's a waste of money! Wow. Wow. Well, mm. good night, folks!